getting bikes. <laughs> okay, now I have to pay attention. <laughs> Hi everyone. I am now ready to do a first listen to the second piece from the 90s. This is from the later 90s. And finish my listening project as I prepare to sit down with Carl for the next episode of The History of Rock Music with Amy and Carl. And we'll be talking about the decade of the 90s. Now, the piece, this second piece that he assigned me is called Wonderwall by Oasis. Now, when I looked at the title, I, I looked at Vlad behind the camera and said, it says Oasis Wonderwall. Is Oasis the song or the band? And he burst out laughing because that's a really ignorant question. <laughs> but that's where I am. That's, I'm very ignorant about that. I didn't know. Wonderwall could be a great name for a band, I think. Anyway, the song is Wonderwall. The band is Oasis. And that's what I'm getting ready to listen to right now. And it's later 90s and I'll find out what it is. Footsteps. Today is gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you By now you should have somehow realized what you gotta do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now Backbeat, the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out I'm sure you've heard it all before, but you never really had a doubt. Is that cello? I don't believe that anybody feels the way Kinda I do like that. about you now. And all the roads we have to walk are winding. And all the lights that lead us there are blinding. I kind of like this. It has an acoustic style. I don't know if it's actually acoustic guitar, but it has a sort of acoustic sound to it. The strumming to start with, and then the voice entered, and then when the percussion entered, there was a cello with it, which was pretty cool, I think. And I like the way that the cello helps to smooth things out. It gives a very fluid line woven into the middle with the percussion underneath, the voice on top, these little um, higher shaker sounds. I don't know if it's something that's being struck or something that's being shook, but it's something percussive-like. And so we have percussion. I'm just going to label it percussion because of the sound quality. So we have down at the bottom, up at the top, and then we have the voice beneath that and the cello above that, along with the bass, which is walking through. I hear it working very tightly with the drums. And it's a very interesting layering and balance of not only ranges, but texture and timbre as well. And I like that a lot. Somehow 
realize what you're not to do I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now And all the roads that lead you there were winding And all the lights that light the way are blinding I do like this There are many things that I The percussion seems to be woven through every range of the instruments, low to high, and then the bass, and then the cello, and then the strumming instruments, guitar, and the voice. Everything is, there's a, a specific sound in every range. liked that piece of music. The presence of the cello throws me back to one of the first pieces I listened to in this whole project. Not, not this history of music project, but the whole virgin rock project. Back with the Beatles' She's Leaving Home, which featured a string ensemble as a significant part of the music. And now hearing in this song, Again, a simple tune, a simple voice, but lyrical, and the cello weaving its way through in the mix of instruments, it kind of threw me back to that particular song and that experience listening to the Beatles. Um, I like the clarity of it, which is also not bare, not barren. It's clear, but it's, it's, it has a sense of layers and complexity. And maybe this would be one that I should do an in-depth with because it does interest me and it does appeal to me. And I feel like there's enough musical content there to make it worthy of sitting down and talking through the details of what I'm hearing. So watch for that. It will come, um, and you'll be able to see what I do tearing it down. But now I've done the first listens to the two pieces Carl wants me to have in preparation for our sit-down discussion together. So the next thing you'll get to watch in this History of Rock Music series with Amy and Carl is the two of us discussing this decade of the 90s and whatever it is that he wants to bring into this fast view through the development of rock up until this point. So I will see you then, and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> 